Show. Samantala, balikan na po natin si uh, Sir Lau. Sir, good morning po. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning po. Opo. Oh, sir, dumutang po ang uh, pangalan ninyo sa nangyaring, uh, nangyayaring investigasyon ngayon patungkol po sa COA audit observation sa Department of Health. Ano po? Ito po ay dahil sa paglipat ang nakagawaran sa DBM ng pondong 42 billion pesos na pambili ng mga face mask at face shields. Uh, pwede niyo po bang ipaliwanag bakit daw po napunta sa DBM kung saang official po kayo dati ang uh, pagbili pati ng supply na ito? At uh, sino po ang uh, nag-initiate ng transfer? Um, hindi po nilipat sa, sa DBM ang pera. The money was sourced out from DBM and transferred to DOH. However, DOH transferred it PSDBM, the Procurement Service of the Department of Budget Management. Um, it is transferred to PSDBM when the items that you are buying is considered common supplies so common com, common goods like cotton band uh, ball pens um, laptops yung binibili natin na office supplies toilet papers alcohol those are common supplies that most government agencies uh, procure it through the psdbm um, during the time of pandemic it is not only doe that was in need of buying the face masks, the face sheets, the alcohol, um, the things that we need for action against COVID. Um, so it was classified by the GPPB, uh, Government Procurement Policy Board, as common supplies. So when it was considered as a common use or common supplies, common goods item, uh, PSDBM already has the authority to buy these items together with DOH uh, together with PITC, together with DSWD, together with the LGU. So all agencies now may procure such item under common goods uh, supply. So nung classified siya to ease the burden and to allow more access and more avenues of procuring the said items, kasi and dami, almost everybody uh, is in need of buying such items, and there is such lack of supply, and through uh, by reason of the um, existing laws on how we procure medyo mabagal siya we have to open up the avenues so uh, doh uh, needed help and they pass on some of the budgets to psdbm to procure the said um, items so ganun po uh, when it is classified as common use it will uh, it can be passed on to psdbm po because that's our forte thank you uh sir Sir Lloyd, yun daw pong paggamit ba ng Department of Health sa procurement service ng DBM ay uh, may legal basis? Ito po ba ay uh, nangyari na dati pa? Yes, yes. Um, P, uh, PSDBM is a, is, it's a specialized agency of the government. Its main purpose is to procure. Uh, it specializes on, under the said concept because most agencies do not have a, a regular uh, procurement process. They don't really procure um, items um, as part of the regular um, performance of their function, like DOH. Their main function is to provide health and services like DSWD, provide uh, social services, um, DOTR they provide transportation services but in the course of providing these services they need to provide uh, supplies and to procure these items needs specialization need manpower needs time needs effort so uh, in order to not dilute the manpower and resources and time of these agencies uh, a, a different agency is focused uh, and performs function for them. So, yun yung PSDBM. So, yung bibili ka ng coupon band. Let's say, sampung coupon band every month. So, you don't have to bid every month for the coupon band. Kasi under the procurement um, law, medyo may bidding process, medyo, medyo mahaba yan. And it will take at least five persons uh, to conduct the bidding process, tama publication, medyo mahaba talaga yan. So, if, imagine if all agencies instead of focusing their prime on their primary purpose um, also um, be bothered with these things 
uh, medyo mau masasayang yung oras, di ba? So they they pass it to an agency whose only job is to procure, and that is the procurement service. Um, multiple times na po, that's uh, for long-standing years, ginagamit na po ang PSDM to do such, uh, such um, res for such function. Um, and PSDBM has two functions, either they uh, buy under the common supplies or they do procurement under non-common use. Yung non-common use kasi hindi siya regular, like pagbibili kang train. Uh, so you have to pass through PSBM if you want to kasi medyo uh, hindi nyo for eh. Uh, kailangan nyo pa mag-training, kailangan nyo pa mag-under, mag-set mag up ng team. So the technicalities would be so much effort and you will only do it once because we buy trains maybe once every five years. Diba? They would rather pass it to an agency who's more efficient in doing that time and again. So uh, during pandemic, medyo na overwhelmed ang DOH kasi all their personals are, most of them are doctors running around, uh, running hospitals, going around community facilities, building up quarantine facilities, managing yung RT-PCR, building up um, COVID testing laboratories. And if you task them more to buy more items, medyo confusing na yan. So they would rather have it removed from their shoulder and pass it on to other agencies, which is in this instance, PSDBM. Opo. Um, Sir Lloyd, regarding po dun sa sinabi niyong preso ng face at face shields na sinasabing overpriced, ano po ang reaction niyo dito at uh, sino po ba daw yung naghahanap ng supplies na ito at uh, kanino po ito binili? Okay. Uh, first thing, of course, if you consider that uh, 27 pesos during that time, this time, it's very expensive. Even I would not buy that, diba? Face shield during this time is 120. That would be very expensive. Uh, but during that time, when kasagsagan uh, ng pandemia, everybody was scampering. We were all scampering. Uh, what we did was we contacted, uh, when DOH sent the document to us, uh, a part, the agency purchase request together with the funds transfer, we started our bidding process. Now, DOH has a pool of a list of their suppliers, and DTI has a pool of list of business establishments, and we were sending all requests to everybody. Oh, sige, magpadala kayo, no? um, if you can supply the problems. In the Philippines, there is a very limited number of pool who are producing these items. Um, so, mahirap. And yung iba din, most of the suppliers are actually import distributors. So, they import and they distribute in the Philippines. The problem is they cannot also supply kasi nga, during that time, no plane and no vessels were flying. Uh, no, no plane were flying and no vessels were, were, were uh, going through the ocean. So, how can we transport? So, very hard yung mga suppliers. That's why we, we contacted even the FAA. Um, uh, our consulates, our embassies abroad took us um, to, to find suppliers. And during that time, uh, talaga tayo through our, the bids and awards committee, um, sila po ang naghahanap noon uh, through market study, kahit sa Facebook. So, ay, naghahanap tayo ng mga suppliers and we make invites. And very few people responded kasi nga, the volume is too high. And uh, uh, it's very hard to supply. And the mga requirements din ng government, mahirapan din sila. Kaya you have to have registrations in the government, which is very hard to comply. And given the time during, uh, given the scenario during the time, very hard for people to travel, to submit documents. So yun yung complication. Um, and but there were several uh, bidders who made some um, offer, price offers. The problem is, it's very high. It's very expensive. Actually, when you look at it, pag sinabi mo, mahal yan, 27, yes, mahal yan. But during that time, that was one of the cheapest. Uh, because um, face mask during that time was sold at around 30 to 40 pesos. Even DTI increased their uh, suggested retail price, which is at 28 pesos during that time. But people were selling it at 30, 32 to 40 pesos. Um, face shield during that time, uh, it was the first time that people knew about face shield. It was my first time to, knew, to know about face shield. Um, it was being sold at 250, 300, 400, diba? Ang mahal. 
So uh, when we bidded it, uh, most of the bidders bidded it at around 400 and 300. But there's one company who bidded it at 120 pesos. So that's actually the cheapest during the time. But now, but now, when you go out of Davos, uh, you go out of your house, pumunta ka ng banko, mag-deposit ka, wala kang face shield, di ka makakapasok. Pero yung guard doon, nagbebenta ng face shield at 25, at 30 pesos, di ba? Pag dumaan ka sa sari-sari store, may benta dyan, 30 pesos. When you go to 7-Eleven, may face shield din dyan. Kahit saan ka pumunta, may face shield. And because of the increase of supply, uh, the prices would drop. So, but you can also see, pag tumataas naman yung, yung ano tawag doon, uh, the cases, the, the, the prices of these items would increase, but not exponentially high. Uh, if you can see, uh, for people to understand uh, the, the scenario, last year, isa lang po ang bumagsak na presyo. That's gasoline, which is unusual because nobody was driving their vehicles. No industry was running. So prices of crude oil dropped and so does gasoline and uh, diesel. But everything else that was on high demand uh, increased their prices. So we as buyers um, is limited um, in buying kung ano yung offered. And that was the lowest offer during that time at good volume. Yun po, uh, it's all documented Opo. naman. Sir, uh, May procurement process tayo na sinusunod. Yun po. Opo. Uh, pe pero Sir Lloyd, kinu-question ng COA at ng uh, mga mambabatas kung bakit wala man lang daw pong MOA ang nasabing paglipat ng pondo. Wala daw po kasing naging accountability sa pondong inilipat. Ano pong masasabi nyo dito? Uh, no, there is pure accountability with or without MOA. So it's public funds. And public funds will always be audited. COA did not question it. COA inquired on it because um, that is uh, part of the exit uh, conference. Kasi medyo yung report, I apologize for this, but whatever information that's going out is um, not complete. Hindi sa complete. Diba? So nagtatanong sila, bakit walang memorandum of agreement? There will be a requirement of memorandum of agreement if the item that, co, uh, that, the, that the, a certain agency would request PSDBM to procure is considered a non-common use. If it is considered a common use, then the, the, the agency requesting PSDBM to procure does not need a memorandum of agreement. The memorandum of agreement is like this, uh, like the OTR. Gusto namin bumili ng train. That's not common supplies because uh, no other agency would buy a train in the regular course of their business. So they need to have a memorandum of agreement, my terms of agreement, my mode of payment, because PSDBM will always charge um, fees. Uh, income is the one that is paying for our employees. It is semi-independent. Uh, so whatever in we have, uh, that's what we pay our employees. So ang pag non-common supply, uh, kailangan ng memorandum of agreement. But if it's a common supply, hindi po kailangan ng memorandum of agreement. Ang ginagawa nila, nagde-deposit sila ng pera para any time that they would want to withdraw items from us technically or buy items from us, we can outright deliver because the money is already available. Kasi may problema din tayo dyan. Pag hindi po ganyan ang setup, nagkakaroon din kami ng uh, uh, audit observation memorandum from COA and sometimes NDA. Uh, ang tawag ng NDA is, uh, I forgot, um, pag wala silang pwera na deposit tapos nag-order sila by, by urgency and sometimes hindi nakikita doon sa system, nakaka-deliver ang PSDBM, the problem there is nag-deliver kami ng pera sa inyo, hindi kayo nagbayad. Papapahamak ang ahensya ng PSDBM. Um, so that, that is the, the scenario there. Now, why there is no memorandum of agreement for these items, it is because those items that they bought are considered common use supplies. It, is, it has been reclassified as common use supplies because it's not only DOH that is in demand, is, de is in need of those items, but all agencies already. Di ba kahit yung PTV-11, kailangan yun ng alcohol sa amin kayo bumibili. Kailangan nyo ng face mask, sa amin din kayo bumibili. Kailangan nyo ng uh, coupon band, sa amin kayo bumibili. Di, 
all agencies who need these items, they procure it to us. So um, with that, a DOH is not the only agencies who were asking us to buy this face mask, face shield, but a lot of agencies, but the bulk of it is Department of Health. So since it's common supplies, it does not need any memorandum of agreement. It's a point of inquiry, uh, formal inquiry by DOH, so we can, uh, by, by COA, so we can answer in writing formally so it will be recorded as part of the audit process. Yun po ang purpose nun sa exit conference. Tinatanong din nila, bakit 20 cent yung benta namin sa internet, medyo mahal, uh, in our website. And we explained, yes, 27 ang benta namin because that's our old stock. Hindi ho 27 ang binili namin sa lahat. Meron nga binili kami na 2 pesos, 1.75, 1 peso and 7 cents sa face mask, mga ganun na presyo. As time goes by, but yung mga old stock namin, hindi namin nabibenta because as we build, we get cheaper, we dispose the cheaper ones first. Kasi of course, why would you buy the more expensive one? But it doesn't mean na ang bilhin namin dun, mahal, and that we bought it now. No, we buy it according to the market situation during time. And sometimes, you cannot dispose it all. Pag chinek nyo, hindi naman... Binili namin lahat ng 40 billion at 27 pesos. Oh, gradual yan as time is needed. Per two months we buy, kasi baka we were expecting during that time, baka mawala ang, ang pandemic after three months. So we have to buy what is good for three months. We, uh, succeedingly, we continue to buy and we ship off this, some of these items to different regions. PSDBM has I think 13 offset offices from region 1 to 13. We have LGU depots. Nagpapad kami ng supply. So different localities and regions outside of Manila can also get these items. However, ito yung problem namin during that time. The, sh the suppliers would ship the items to, let's say, Cagayan de Oro, Misamis Oriental, or those city, or, or regions. Libre yun, kasi the supplier will have to shoulder the freight. Then we have stocks there. Pag gusto mong bumili doon sa area, bimili ka. Ang problema, nagkaubos sa Metro Manila, sa outskirts hindi nagkaubosan. That's where our, most of our, most of our un, the slow-moving stocks na face shield and face na hindi nabibenta, nakatago doon. So, if we have to send it to the central office just to sell it, it will be more expensive kasi we have to get shipping na naman, freight cost, which I, which um, Logically, financially, that's that's unused. That's um, um, what do you call that? Irregular for us act on. So we decided na iwan na lang doon and make some um, changes to have it sold for discount. But in order to sell for discount, we have to get uh, authorization from the commission on audit. Kailangan din yun to justify di ba, everything, how, how everything goes. Uh, the reason for this is the market fluctuation unusual market fluctuation. Everybody, if you just are willing to recall, everybody are willing to recall, magkano po bilhin ninyo ng face mask during the time and ng face shield? Same po ang scenario sa amin. Um, it's not, it's not, it's unfair to say na 120 bili ko ngayon. No. We bought it at that price when you were buying it at 150 at also um, 20 pesos at 40 pesos. Um, sometimes we get lucky by a cheap Sometimes we buy it fair. Uh, it, it depends on the situation. Kasi paunahan talaga yung bili during the time, di ba? Kasi pag hindi ka nakabili, uh, people will bash you. Kasi bakit ba? Ano bang ginagawa mo? Ba't hindi ka nagtatrabaho? Tapos pag nakabili ka, sasabihin naman, oh, ba't yan ang binigin? You know, um, that, that's just the situation in reality. Thank you po. Okay. So, Lord, basahin ko lang yung ilang tanong na nasama na. Para sa iyo, unahin ko mga tanong okay. ni Laila Salaveria. According to OIC Kanda, she, uh, she had aired uh, misgivings on the expensive face mask and face shields. At that time, were these uh, concerns addressed before the purchase? At ang kaya choose din nyo naman po, ibig ba daw sabihin, hindi lang DOH ang nagpabili sa inyo ng mga common goods, but other agencies also, pero bang nasisingle out ang DOH? First, uh, I cannot recall that uh, uh, Undersecretary OIC Yusekanda made a statement. Uh, I think it is best that we get the official record during the, when the statement was made. Um, if she made such statement, maybe on an executive 
um, committee level, uh, it's all recorded, we can get it and we can uh, check on when it was said, how it was said, and what was the con context when it was said. Uh, so we can understand. Because um, it would be uh, it would be made clear ano yung um, circumstances surrounding when such statement was said and in whether or not it was actually said. Because uh, as far as I can recall, I don't think there was any statement made. Um, I've been attending exec committees din naman. And second, uh, as to single out, uh, na single, single out ba ang DOH, um, di naman siguro. Maybe because it's highlighted uh, that DOH is the biggest procuring entity, um, agency who is buying face masks and face shield, because almost all of the employees of DOH are wearing face masks and face shield every day. Uh, in fact, they just don't wear things. They also wear N95. They also wear um, coverall, lab gown, gloves, head, uh, head cover, um, shoe cover. Marami po sila sinusuot na. Parating binibili. Minsan, hindi po nakakaya ng PSDB, eh, bumibili din po sila sa PITC. Minsan, hindi din kaya ng PITC. They also buy it on their own. So, hindi lang din PSDB ang bumibili. Even DOH is buying, continuously buying for itself. And PITC is buying it for them as well. And some other agencies, which I, I don't know if how many things they have. Um, as for as per other agencies, yes, yes, that's true. Um, BSWD is buying from us. Uh, other LGUs are buying from us. In fact, almost all agencies are buying from us with respect to alcohol. Because bago pa nag-pandemia, nakabili na po kami ng alcohol na kontrata, mura. So nung nag-pandemia, mm -hmm. kami yung pinakamurang alcohol. Di ba? Kasi during the time, but it ran out around three to four months, then we have to bid it again, which um, significantly changed the price of alcohol. Uh, other other things din po, yun, yun, that's it. Uh, and the answer to that question is Apo. yes. The direct answer to that question is yes. Um, yes, other agencies are buying from us. Thank you. Opo. Uh, Sir Lloyd, nadidikit po yung inyong uh, pangalan kay Senator Bongo. Kayo po ba daw ay may kaugnayan sa kanya at may kinalaman din ba siya sa mga trans transaksyong ito? Uh, so, ever since they've been always doing that, no? Uh, tie you to a politician to make my job politicized. Well, in reality, I, I applied for a job and I got lucky. Uh, I got a undersecretary position in the presidential management staff under um, undersecretary Ferdinand Cui. Uh, after a year, I requested, uh, uh, I applied for a different position, which was my first and my second um, government agency that I worked for when I was young, which is a uh, Housing Land Use and Regulatory Board. Because when I was a young lawyer, I worked with HLURB before in Mindanao, which was approved. I was appointed. So, lumipat po ako doon. Lumipat ako doon. Also, after a year, I resigned and applied for um, undersecretary na naman sa DPM. Then, I was appointed sa PSDBM. And after a year, I again applied I don't apologize uh, for uh, overall the duty ombudsman. It's 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 uh, people think it's something political. No, it's not. Um, I've been doing it for. Uh, it's part of my character. Um, I worked for government when I was a law student, so I can fin go to school. I work as a teacher in Ateneo de Davao University when I was a law student, college teacher. So I can, then I became a lawyer. When I became a lawyer, I relieved myself um, from uh, the local government units, a council, uh, Councilor Galicia, and I applied for HLURB. But uh, when I worked in government at HLURB, uh, sometimes I, I get bored, so I left the office within a period of six months. Then I entered into private practice. Uh, but now, given the opportunity in 2016, I tried the government again, but uh, uh, simply I, I'm used to be a practicing lawyer with so many clients. Uh, I get really a bit, um, uh, not that, that the term is maybe bored in a common parlance, but sometimes I, I, I le reach the level of tattoo that I don't really find the work so 
enticing after a year so i try to get a different field office that i can learn again and given the scenario that last year when i applied for uh, overall deputy ombudsman uh, people were you know making it political so i withdraw my appointment and successively i tendered my resignation uh, that's it um, I'm, I'm planning to go into private practice again but for uh we'll dress for a couple of months for but to politicize it that I am connected to this and to that, and there's this transaction, this is a transaction. Um, politics, maybe, but I'm not a politician. I, I'm just, just like any other Filipino who wants to try, apply, get a, uh, try his profession, his luck in the community. That's it. But uh, to politicize is also very unfair, you know. Uh, not, oh, yes, for, for the politicians that's tied up to me, that's unfair for them, more so for me, because I, I, I'm i doing this for my own profession and my own um, uplift, uh, professionally, personally, and growth, uh, personal growth. Um, because uh, you want to do something good, uh, prove something to yourself, but people make it uh, a lot of things. So... Uh, it is best maybe for me to get, stay out of um, politics because you can never isolate yourself in politics even if you're not a politician. Thank you, ma'am. Panghuli na lang, panghuli na lang po, Sir Lloyd. Uh, tanong po ni Tuesday nyo ng DCWB at no, maging ni Laila Salaberia, pinatatawag, pinatawag po ba kayo sa susunod na pagdinig ng Blue Ribbon Committee at kung willing daw po ba kayo nga uh, dumalo para magpaliwanag? Yes, several um, employees have contacted me through my personal number. Um, employees from PSDBM informing me that I have been I am being sought after um, for um, uh, to shed light or uh, discuss my participation in the procurement process that is being questioned. Of course, it is my responsibility, uh, and I am willing to attend to shed light on the matter. I believe the objectivity uh, of the um, Senate, the Blue Ribbon Committee, uh, headed by Senator Gordon, that it is fair and just, and it is a proper and appropriate avenue for me to shed light on what actually transpired. So uh, it is actually um, a good thing, diba? Kasi, um, people make assumptions without all the facts. It is best that all facts are laid, and the best one of the appropriate avenues is the Senate Blue Report Committee. And I would um, uh, attend, uh, definitely, as long as my search comes and says, Maraming, I Thank you. Maraming salamat po sa inyong panahon at ang inyong uh, paliwala, Ginoong Lloyd Christopher Lau. Stay safe po at salamat po Maraming sa inyong salamat panahon. Po.